Bible says that they had been made slaves for years. They was going into the promised land. And the Bible declares that even the stripes on their back, the scars in their life before they got there, he dissolved. <laughs> they didn't get into the promised land. <laughs> and say, look, what happened to me then? Listen to me. They didn't get over into the promised land and rip their shirt off and say, this is what I've been through. Y'all look at me like you want to, but I'm telling you the truth. I didn't make this up the Bible. The Bible says it all. They didn't get over into the promised land. You know, one time that they talked about some places they'd been, and they murmured and cried because they thought they had it better. Because what God was trying to do was bring them out into a testing place and get the minds of the warriors to take back the land. You might have been hurting. You might have been in some tough spots. But I'm here to tell somebody that that thing inside of you, way down deep that's been bothering you for years that nobody knows and you're not letting them in. You ain't got to tell a soul, but let God know he's about to restore your life. Pastor Randy, come help me please. That man stood in front of Jesus that day. <laughs> he said, stretch forth your hand. Don't miss this part. I'm winding down, but don't miss this part. The one that was wrapped, those around me knew it was wrapped. It's easy to put and hide under everything. <laughs> and that day, he could have been a smart aleck like most of them was, and stretched forth his good places, his good spot. Because everybody knew that he had a withered hand. Listen to this. Don't miss this. Don't miss this. But to stretch his hand forth, he covered it up. They knew there was a problem, but they'd never really seen the problem. That day, he had to unfold that thing that he'd been covering up for years. And he stretched forth that withered spot, that dried up spot that his wrist worked, his elbow worked, his shoulder worked, but his hand. For all of his life, he was limited to grabbing a hold of things. And there's a lot of church people, there's a lot of good people, there's a lot of hurting people. And there's a lot of things that have slipped through their hands and their, their biggest cry is, I had it right there, what's wrong with me? falling through the cracks the, the withered part is always never holding on but that day he puts forth that thing that everybody knew that was there but they never really seen it look at your neighbor just tell him listen to me We have a lot of people on our prayer list and we know a lot of things that's hurting and going on. But it's really never just been unveiled or wrapped up in front of us. Because there's a lot of stuff that people go through that's way deeper than what we can see. I need to tell somebody in here, this service ain't like nothing, no other service you've ever been to. You can sit there in that seat and act like you ain't never got a problem in your life. 
Act like you ain't never been through something or you can be just so high-minded. You can sit there and you can keep holding your stuff. You can keep it right. For today, 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 look at your neighbor and say today. You can unravel. Step in front of God. I need to tell somebody. I need somebody to listen to me this morning. God isn't healing what's going on. God isn't making something whole. God is restoring. I need somebody to hear me this morning. When I say restore, it's like there's never been a problem. Only God can do that. I've seen people come out of surgery. And the doctor said, I think I've got all the cancer. But I don't know. And even doctors say, you know, it's, it's going to take a hand to God. They, later in, in years, they get healed. There's never no sign. But they still got a scar where it was at. I need you to get a hold of this this morning. This is not a healing line. This ain't about you getting a healing. It's about you getting restored. When the judge tells me, Mr. Brown, you've been through an awful lot of problems, and I'm going to give you back what you've been through, but they're going to pay you restitution for your pain and suffering. <laughs> Seven years. Seven times. Seven folks. 